Hey, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Growing, by the, shore, man. by the shore of beautiful Bay of Green Bay. We are in Oconto County today having a great time. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Growing, we'll be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, Bit Boss Pellet Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Shooting Star Casino, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, The Oneida Nation, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Growing. I'll tell you what, we are on the shores of the Bay of Green Bay. And uh, Green Bay is down this way here. The city proper of Green Bay is just okay. south of us. We are in the city of Oconto, Oconto County. You can go to OcontoCounty.org and tell Samantha we sent you. She's with the Tourism Board. Yeah, nice lady. She is a very, very nice, nice lady. Very nice lady. Samantha, hi, dear. <laughs> so south of us is, the, is, the, uh, Bay, is uh, the city of Green Bay. Okay. Due east of us is Sturgeon Bay. And Door County. Oh wait a minute, I'm confused. Sure, here. sure, sure, sure. So right, right over there is Sturgeon Bay. All right. Right over there, that, that whole line over there, okay. that's Sturgeon Bay. Hi, Sturgeon Bay. That's all Door County. Okay. And when you head up north, the Bay of Green Bay, it kind of circles up to our favorite place, where I grew up with your with your wife Diane. Door County. D well, Gills Rock. Gills Rock. Yes. And, and yes. then you cross over to the Washington Island. Okay. It's Lake Michigan. And la di da di da. <laughs> Did you ever go my boat though? No, 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 <laughs> that's too much work. But that's what we invite you people to do. We invite you to go to OcontoCounty.org, and, and here's a beautiful boat landing. They've got, uh, uh, I think, 100 plus boat landings oh, in Oconto beautiful. County alone. It's really laid out well. Uh, they've got like 378 lakes. They've got a 400 acre shoot pond. That's just one of the ponds with beautiful wildlife like ducks and fish and, and just a, a birding that's gorgeous. They're really proud of the birds here in Oconto County. They got a lot of water flowages. They got a lot of marshes, streams, rivers. It's like a hidden treasure. I it didn't really even have is. any idea that this existed and, over and here. And because of hidden treasure, uh, most of the things that we'll be doing today, we'll, we'll talk about the water. Yes. Okay. Mary's going to be doing some nice salmon. We do have to maybe feed ourselves, so we got some brat patties. All right, we got to do that, did ladies and gentlemen. Did you ever do the brat patties, Freddie? Yeah, I did. Yeah, they're, they're good They're one of my favorites. They really good are, stuff. too. Yeah, so we have a nice little uh, cheddar uh, bratwurst one. We have a regular cheddar one, a jalapeno cheddar, gotcha. and a regular brat one. I'm going to sear these off so they're still rare. Put them back we're gonna, on. We're going to plank go. cook them. We're going to plank cook them. All right. Oh, really? Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're going to finish this off with a little plank with our Dewerks and some... Uh, so let me just get these babies going just a little bit, just to sear okay. one side and then the other side. And then we're going to finish them off on planks. That'll be good. Along with some other great stuff. So we're going to get these seared just a second or two. And that's really, they don't take very long to begin with, it all, all total, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? They're quick. They quick, are quick, 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 quick. They are quick. Well, I, while I tie my shoes so I don't trip <laughs> over things, you do some salmon. Hey, how about doing some salmon? I love salmon on the grill, and you know what hey, it's Rod, very easy to do. Hey, Rod, don't show my legs. Yeah, don't show that. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that sex appeal. <laughs> we, we gotta get, now we got to get a PG rating. Ratings are going right. skyrocket. <laughs> oh, man, there goes the ratings. Oh, <laughs> no. You should have taken care of that in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> I took care of other things oh, in the locker room. Thank goodness you did. All right, let's see the salmon. <laughs> hey, salmon's very, very unforgiving. Very easy to do on the grill. People have a tendency to overcook salmon salmon all the time for it on it, you they know? really do. It's if the best it, fish to start. Those beautiful it, omega oils. Oh, yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, yeah. if you want to, you can use a thermometer. Salmon's done at 145 degrees. But really, you're going to see that the beads come right up to the top. That's a natural fat, and that's when you know that the salmon is done. Yeah, now, I left the skin on in this salmon. The big thing you got to do, yes, sir. If you do it, leave the skin on when you put it on the grates of the grill. If right. you do plank cooking like I'm doing with some of my fish today, then you take the skin off. Got it. You got it. That exactly right. That fish is as right. forgiving as... Freddie's wife, Kathy. She's a very forgiving woman. I don't know if anybody's that forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Freddie. Did Gotta I mention OcontoCounty.org, please, and tell Samantha we sent you. Great you place. Got it, great you got it. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of our uh, citrus on here, and I want you to know that I'm using this quite heavily on here because there's no sodium in this okay. whatsoever. And it's very good. Our citrus twist obviously has some lemon in it. 
a little bit of garlic. Some onion. Yeah, some other it's, great it's, herbs it's really, really good. It really, it really is good. a delicious herb. I mean, pour it on heavily, and I yeah. do mean heavily. And the reason for that is I'm going to add brown sugar on the top. Now, if I wanted to, I could use maple syrup. I was going to, but I just like the brown sugar. A lot of people Something about honey. it is just, yeah, I just love the flavor on it. Oh, don't forget your flip, flip, flip your brats, man. Don't want to burn those on our television. Oh, That'd be embarrassing, oh. Freddie. He's not swearing underneath his breath back there, is he, Fred? And that would be a first, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it would be a first. You know what, yeah. So I'm going to spread this quite evenly. Now I'm going to put this on the grill. Actually, I've got the grill up to about 350. Normally at home, because of the pit boss, I like actually cooking at about 275 degrees for about close to an hour. But we've got the pit boss going today. i got to fire it up at 350, so it's not going to take that long. We'll definitely be done within a half hour, that's for sure. That's so there, there's plain cooking and there's lumber cooking. I got a pieces of lumber, but it's untreated white cedar. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna skip skip ahead here a little bit because my right. my patties are looking really really good. And I figured about four patties per. I'm gonna overlap just a little bit with each oh. patty. I think. Nice markings on that. Yeah, he's like a professional. That's because Freddy. we use that MHP grill. The grates are designed to sear. Uh, they're like a cast Look aluminum. That. That's not the proper term, but they're like a cast aluminum. And they sear up, they radiate the heat gorgeously, mhp.com. Boy, don't forget that one, folks. Yeah. Boy, now, you know, if I did that, Freddie, I wouldn't look like that. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. They look gorgeous, don't they? <laughs> so now we have that. Hey, now the agrees with me. Watch this. <laughs> shrooms. Oh, yeah. Shrooms over the top. Oh, oh man. Freddie loves shrooms. So we got the patties, we got the shrooms. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, and, man. And, and, and I was going to do this right away. I'm just going to give a, I was going to put the broth sauce on the pan okay. first, but I'll tell you what, I think I'm just going to do a little drizzling over the top. This is right. how it works. Homemade ketchup, sauerkraut, onions. So it's just adding a little moisture to those shrooms on top. Okay. Now those are okay. going to go on. Do you help? Back on the image, I got everything going here. You got everything going? All right. Right where they came off. Exactly okay. the point. Now. Here's something no one's ever done. I picked up some bluegills. Okay, now I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to put this oh, yeah. salmon Please on do. if you yeah, mind. Yeah. Let me give you a hand. Yeah, if you can, that would be grand. That would be so good. Got her? So Look there's the salmon, there's the skin, there's everything else. I'll set that on there and back you away. You got so her, you back away, you got it. Shoot that. That's not going to take very long. No, it's not. About 20 minutes on, the, on, the, on your... On your uh, Pit boss. Yep, exactly, because I got her at 350, yep. so. About 20 minutes on that pit boss. Okay, so we got some bluegills. I was going to do some pan fried cooking out here with a cast iron skillet, but I thought, how do you get rid of the grease? You know well. what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's. Environmentally kind So here's of something this. someone's never done before, and this is what we're going to do now. We're going to take a look. These are beautiful bluegills, by the way. They All got right. These, they're scaled, uh, they got the skin on, they're gorgeous bluegills, and I'm going to squeeze a little lemon over the top. And we're gonna do a garlic pepper, which is heavy on the pepper. And a little mm. bit of our citrus like Merrill used. So I'm gonna do like a lemon pepper. Okay, makes and sense. And this is pepper bacon. And what I found out, I thought I could roll these babies. Yeah. You, you, you take and you, you, you fold them like a taco. Like a whole bunch <laughs> I was of thinking of something else. You fold them just like a taco. <laughs> and you hold that baby right there. That'll and be darn. Oh, I can't wait to have those. I can't either. I was making some of these. I made a, a whole slew. Of those. These are all those beautiful. These oh, are all really? Mummified, these are all mummified bluegills. All right. Each one takes three picks, by the way. Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're doing two strips of bacon for each one. And you just mummify them. Okay. And then we're going to take another plank. The planks have been soaked overnight in water. The planks have been soaked overnight in water. I'll take a smaller one because I got to. We have some northern pike to do. Northern really pike. Really? Oh, done man. with Your us northern today. Northern pike is delicious on the grill. They've got a wide bone, but we took it out. Okay. So we're going to be in good shape there. And I'm going to have to stack these up. I think I have too many. I might put a couple on your little uh, pit boss. All right. I think I better rather than mess around with too many on top. Okay. Right? I want to cook. I got plenty of room. Yeah. So I'm going to do. This one, I got two other ones done. I'll do two more over here, but we're gonna get this plank. This is gonna go on the plank on a nice hot heat, and we're gonna sear the dickens of those for about 25 minutes, and those will be done to perfect. Oh, man, I'm kinda eating today, today, Freddy. Well, let me finish these babies up. Freddy's gonna play a little music. All right, we'll and get out of here. County.org, tell Samantha we sent you.
Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, you know that, yeah. Uh, which is really, really good. Oh, I had those. I had those beautiful uh, bluegills wrapped up in that pepper bacon, looking good. They were on the plank, but Freddie says, "Man, they taste great on that pit boss smoker." You know, well, and, and, and rather than the plank, and, and Freddie's right. It's browning the bacon up just gorgeously. It's looking wonderful. Let's let's take a little look, man. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, man. <laughs> Lord Give the camera. Did you hear him say that? Freddie was right. <laughs> Freddie was right. Mark that down. And Boy, then put it that down the books. <laughs> Freddie was right. <laughs> hey, can I? Uh, I'm gonna throw some cheese. If you All want right. to back up cheese. one second. Put it here. on. Put it on, man. So the, these brats are the brat, brat patties are, are are slapping. They're looking delicious. Uh, we have some wonderful uh, uh, Swiss cheese on top of those shrooms. Oh man. Yeah. So we're gonna make ourselves a nice little pile of mess right here. And those, those brat patties are pretty much done. The mushrooms are looking really nice and warm through. And we're gonna add some beautiful uh, sliced Swiss cheese over the top. Hey, when you come to Ocano County, uh, if you're campers, what a great place. Ocano County's got a lot of great campgrounds, a lot of great events and ideas for you good guys. But there's a campground right in town at Ocanto, right in Ocanto. We come to Copper Fest Yes, all the time. we do, right, yeah. Copper uh, Fest was uh, mid-June, yeah, mid good time. We were, we were just there a little while ago. And, uh, we're taping now right after the 4th of July. Uh, but a great time, great great place, Ocanto. Yeah. Beautiful campground right along the Ocanto oh, that's River. That's pretty. Yep. Very pretty. Were you going to say something, Fred? I was going to ask about... a about, smirk on your uh, face. Well, I was going to ask you, isn't that where the river's at? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. in Ocanto. Yes. <laughs> I'm not lying, it is. I, I believe it's you. It's still there. I, I believe you. It's still there. <laughs> so Northern Pike are, are right. wonderful to catch. Uh, it's a step down from the muskies. You musky fishermen, I mean, that's what you are, is your musky fishermen. Uh, but, but northern are beautiful. Northern can be 38, 40 inches long. Uh, beautiful 27, 28 inches are beautiful to catch. Phenomenal. Same as Wally. Wally's that get around here, average around uh, in the fall of the year, you can get some beautiful, beautiful 30 inch walleye. Really? Oh, God. Gorgeous out here. Just bellies on like you two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty proud of that. Me too. <laughs> We're not the only one. We're going to have the Y bone out. We're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon over the top. And here's what I'm going to do with the uh, with the northern is I'm going to take away any chance of having a, a, a river flavor. Okay. And people have a. So we're going to add a little hickory barbecue sauce. And I'm going to smear that on one side. Oh, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to smear it on the other side. So we're just going to add just a nice little flavor of hickory over the top of that. Now we have some great new spices, a lot of brand new spices down here uh, we'll talk about in the future, but it's a nice Himalayan salt. We have a Cajun, we have a Jamaican, we have a Korean, and this one's called uh, Up North. I gotta take the top off here. It's called Up North Pepper. Up North? Up North Peppery. Up North Peppery. And it really, really is Up North Peppery. Has a great flavor to it. I can see the specks of Ooh, pepper. Oh, I, I can't wait to have that. Yeah, it's gonna be delicious. It's brand new with our products lines. So that's called up North Peppery. Up North Peppery. And once again, we're going to take a nice little plank, all wetted up. And I'm going to add both of them on here because they're okay. thin enough they're going to cook fast. And the two, I bet you they won't take long at all. No, they won't. The two thin parts together. So fat's on the outside, or fat's on the inside, actually. Huh, mine's on the outside and <laughs> the inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a few diced up onions. All right. And give it some extra little flavor. Over there. Okay. And then we'll put a little hickory barbecue sauce over that. I'm going to get mine on the MHP grill and get that a cooking. You won't believe it. You know, I told you about this. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Grilled cucumbers. Never had it, have you? Not the way you're going to I do heard it. I thought it was first ridiculous. But you know what? They're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, I got some mini cucumbers here that I went ahead. And you can leave the skin on these, but I went ahead and took the skin off of these. But... I'll try these even with the skin on, but all what I'm going to do is marinate these with a little bit of oil. You don't need that much. It'd be nice to leave it. Oh, let them sit for a good 15, 20 minutes, but ours will be faster than this. But put that in there. Oh, so you, I'm sorry, you peeled them and wedged them? I peeled them and gave them a wedgie. Yep. All the way. Somebody even left all the way whole. And what I've done on this one here, I'm going to use our Italian seasoning. This Italian seasoning is excellent. You know, it's just great on everything from salads, very good to make your own dressing, but I'm going to pour a lot of that in there. And I do meet a lot. You can smell the oregano, you can smell the basil. I'm going to shake that up, and then I'm going to place these on the grill. The one I cook them, they're not going to take that long. They'll take maybe 10 minutes. You can turn them just once or twice. Some people really char the ever living daylights out of them. I don't like them that charred or anything on it. But it's, I like it better than zucchini. I'm telling you, I like it better than zucchini. And I'm not lying. 
I'm telling the truth. I think the cucumbers in the zucchini family. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget if you're into ATV and if you're into birding, if you're into hiking and the fishing and the biking and the boating, uh, camping, whatever it is, you got to go to oconocounty.org. Tell Samantha we sent you. Yeah. She's a nice lady. She is. Very nice. Uh, very nice. Salmon, walleye, bluegills, muskies, trout. They got it all. They got over uh, 370 some lakes. Uh, they got a bunch of nice little shoots or ponds, acres of ponds, water floors, marshes, uh, birding, ducks. Everything is right here in O'Connell County. Go to oconocounty.org if you would, please. We'll be right back from the Bay of Green Bay. Oh, the yes. Midwest Grilling in Oconto, Wisconsin. Back to Battle of Midwest Grilling. You know, I just got thinking, we're having a good time. Yes, we are. But we Beautiful. were up in Lakewood, and that was Oconto County, and that's where that Woodland Trail Winery was. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, where nice you got your winery. Christmas wine with that's Russ right, and the Vine. The yeah. Glue Vine. <laughs> Another great reason to come to Oconto <laughs> County. <laughs> And Freddie gave us a, a lesson, too, he you did. know? Freddie always gives us a lesson. Freddy. Hey, I'm going to start taking stuff off the grill. Freddie's thirsty. He gets a... Bloody Mary? He gets a Bloody oh, Mary oh. this time. Bye, so I'm going to start taking things off the grill. We're going to start wrapping things up for this All right, this sounds good. Segment. Bloody Mary time, Freddy boy. Let her go. Now, if you want to make a good Bloody Mary, trust me, a good <laughs> Bloody Mary, you got to use the works. It's our broth sauce. <laughs> People have told me this actually for years, and once I tried it there again, I liked it. That is true. They tell you me know? every week. And you want to use a good, oh, a couple good shots of it in there and there. All right, Freddy, don't worry. Freddie's worried already. I never drank that straight from the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Now's your chance, Freddie. Now's your chance, okay? We got a little vodka in there. A little. A little. You'll like this. I guarantee you. I guarantee you like this. Got a little Grandma Hazel's we're going to break in there. That's pretty good. <laughs> Get that too close to the grill. Uh, I know. Okay, I'm going to have the tomato juice in there, too. But Grandma Hazel's. Yes. You want that flavor? A lot of bars use Grandma Hazel's. Yes, they do. It's got a good flavor to it. Now, we start using some of the... I'm using V8 today. I love V8. I do, too. I shook this up a little bit. But then, the big thing you really want to do is to make sure that you mix this up really, really good. Because <laughs> if not, you're going to have that vodka float to the top. And you know, do not want that to happen, all right? All right, so watch this. Don't watch it. it. Don't let me get Here it on your go. pants. Oh. And again, ooh. Yeah, uh, one more for good measure because I can still see some of the. Whoa, <laughs> sorry, Freddy. No, you didn't get me. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'll guarantee you, Fred. <laughs> guarantee me, Fred. Here we go. There you go. Taste that. Tell me if you like it. If you don't, just lie to the folks, okay? <laughs> it's just television. It's just television. Oh, not that good? I think it's good, ladies and gentlemen. I did that on purpose. <laughs> it's going to bleach my mustache. <laughs> I swear, dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's excellent. Really, it's what a, a way to go. It so, is. It is great. Really there's phenomenal. another reason to come to Oconto County. Go to OconocountyOconto.org because everything turns out perfect. Yes, it does. <laughs> the Bloody Mary is great. These brat patties yeah. are, are to die for. Those are smothered with Swiss cheese and mushrooms. Oh, look and those that, go man. on the buns. We got some beautiful buns to put those on, some nice whole wheats. Merrill's cukes back here. I yeah, kind of got them hidden back here. Those turned out just absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try those babies over there. The salmon. Firm to the touch, done to perfection. Juices galore in there, I'll guarantee you. 40 grams of protein in a six ounce piece. Calcium in there. Another great reason to go fishing on the Bay of Green Bay or on uh, the, some of the waters here for beautiful salmon in Oconto County. The Northern Pike, these little babies right here. I can't wait to have those. These are the, uh, let's break one open. There's that little bluegill on the inside. Yeah. Those turned out just absolutely delicious. Merrill, you're in charge of eating one of those. Freddie, want a bluegill? Sure. I think I could have that. I think those, I could have that. Those pepper bacon. There's are three spicy. picks in there, Freddie. Yeah, I three know, picks I in, every, them. in every bluegill. <laughs> They're, uh... Oh. Outstanding. Right? right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. They got to be delicious. Mmm. Oh. Well, because it's improper to talk with our mouths e full, even in Oconto County, you folks look up OconoCounty.org, and we'll be right back to wrap this baby up. Those are delicious. Those are unbelievable. Oh, 
Wow. Welcome back to Mad Dog Merrill's Midwest Drilling. We had a great time here in O'Connell County, and you will too, ladies and gentlemen, oconnellcounty.org, where ATV and birding, hiking, skiing, fishing, biking, hiking, boat riding, it don't matter. Good Family name, it's here. camping right here, oconnellcounty.org. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Flashbro Visual Communications.